everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, we don't have much for today's video, so we'll just get started right away here. So we're going to do our daily packet first. All right, so daily packet. We are on unit three, week two, day five. So fix and write each sentence. Let's see if I can. It's a little more clear. The boy marched in the garden. So we're going to start off with capital T. The boy marched is one of our spelling words. So we want actually an A instead of you. Marched in the, and then the same for garden. We want an A there. Garden instead of you. Okay, that's an E. And we want to add a period at the end, punctuation. Next one, this is a large yard, capital T. This is a large with A and yard with A, add punctuation. Complete the addition and subtraction problems below. Something plus eight is 15. If I go 15, take away eight, that gives me seven. Seven plus eight is 15. 20 minus something is five. If I go 20 minus five, that's 15. So 20 minus 15 is five. Something plus six is 13. If I go 13 minus six, that gives me seven. Seven plus six is 13. Something minus eight equals eight. If I go um, eight plus eight, at 16 are doubles. 16 minus eight is eight. Five plus something is 20. This is a fact family to this problem. Five plus 15 is 20. And then here we have something minus six is eight. If I go six plus eight, that's 14. So 14 minus six is eight. The number in order from least to greatest. The smallest number here is 13. My biggest number here is 31, and 30 will be in the middle. There were many children sitting on the bench. The ages were 7, 9, 4, 12. Put them in the right order. So we want youngest, so smallest numbers, to oldest, biggest number. So the youngest is 4, the oldest is 12, and then we're going to look at the two numbers left over, 7 and 9. 7 comes first, and then 9. 4, 7, 9, 12 is in order from youngest to oldest. So that is our daily packet. Today, for homework, you have an, as an assignment to complete your benchmark, sorry about the blurriness, your benchmark test online for unit three, week two, and to work on those online games, which will be about the 8R sound. So that's your two other homework pieces to do on your own. Uh, today's activity for benchmark is to read the story in Ocean Visit aloud. So we'll read it aloud. As we read it, we're going to hunt for AR words, just like our spelling words for the week, AR words. So let me go to an Ocean Visit. And um, if you want, go ahead and highlight. I'm going to um, circle just because when I highlight in a video, it doesn't show up very well. So I'll circle, but you're welcome to underline, highlight, whatever. So R words, A-R. Ocean visit. Every year in March, my family goes to the beach for a week. This is from the farm where we live. My mom and I like to keep black early in the morning and late at night. We collect the many colored small stones we find on the beach. Stones are smooth and round. We keep them in a jar at home. Once we were found starfish, but we didn't touch it or move it. We never do that. We also don't walk far at night because it's hard to see in the dark. One afternoon, we went for a big swim. All of a sudden, my dad started to yell. He spotted a shark swimming near us. It wasn't large, but its teeth were sharp and pointed. Little fish were 
referring to our country. They make a good deal for a country start, not us. As long as sharks have lots of food, they won't harm us, said Dad. But it's better to stay on the beach for now. We thought that was a smart idea. What an adventure, oh my goodness. All right, well, that is our benchmark activity. So reading this story, and again, either circling, underlining, highlighting the AR words. So reading AR. Today, for more, remember to check your math book, either with extra math online or flashcards or your green sleeve, somehow practicing those math facts to 20. And the last thing is your Espanol test. Today, in Seesaw Activities, you have Espanol tests assigned. Um, so please go ahead and complete it. Remember, don't worry about in Seesaw Activities um, completing the activity. It, we, I just have it there so you can use it as a link to get to those um, forms, the Google Forms.